Earlier today, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced a stimulus plan and our reporter Arabile Gumede spoke to Finance Minister Ntlantlanene about implementing this stimulus package. We are confident, as you heard, that the President was very emphatic and uh, uh, clear that um, the, it comprises of a, a you know, non-financials, uh, the, the stimulus itself, but it also comprises of the financials where we actually have been reprioritizing uh, resources in order to focus on uh, key areas. And as I said in my response also to the question about uh, where we're getting it from, and uh, we actually are, have um, actually gone through an excruciating process of looking at underperforming programs, um, looked at uh, programs that um, if you have agency of implementing something uh, which might not necessarily be agent and uh, so there are trade-offs uh, so with the regards to the resources we are comfortable that we are uh, uh, we will be able to finance the yeah. package. will this plan be fiscal neutral we actually it, it has to be positive actually it I don't think it's entirely neutral uh, it's neutral in that we are not intru introducing new resources but we are also bringing in uh, we're crowding in external resources which only come in in order to uh, um, you know get economic um, 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 returns out of the process but at the same time we're creating an environment um, for the private sector but also for departments themselves to begin to to refocus their attention and um, correct the issue uh, of um, um, the quality of expenditure yeah. such that we, re we, we uh, actually are able to get both economic and social returns is the plan over the medium-term framework then is it over the next three years or are you just looking at it particularly got, just for one it's got, year? it's got all elements it's a, an imme immediate response but also we've got the medium to long term um, um, elements of the, of the package. At what stage do we then begin to judge it with regards to its effectiveness, whether it's working or not? Well, there are a number of mile milestones. I must say that um, in the coming uh, few weeks, you also are going to be seeing the relevant ministers, as uh, the president spoke about the visa requirements, the spectrum. All of those would actually be coming to the public. Um, 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 minerals and uh, mineral resources minister is going to be uh, um, uh, coming up with the finalization of his charter all of those but then uh, come the medium term budget policy statement we should then begin to put pegs and um, as the president goes to the state of the nation again next year we should be able to get feedback on um, uh, on i mean uh, progress uh, between now and then and um, at budget time and um, the milestones will all, uh, always be um, just the normal milestones, but at the same time, many, the relevant ministers will also have to report on progress on a regular basis. In terms of accountability, the minister didn't necessarily have, I mean, the president's, my apologies, didn't necessarily have the greatest detail when it comes to who exactly is responsible for what. When do we start holding people accountable for it, and, and who exactly do we now hold accountable for this plan? Actually, all of the elements of the package have, uh, um, you know, um, relevant ministries uh, that are responsible for it. For instance, I said on the nine financials when we talk about visa requirements there is the ministry of uh, home affairs but also um, they, they have been working together with uh, the minister of tourism but uh, also when we talk about uh, the attraction of skills we're talking to minister of higher education we're talking to minister in uh, science and technology so it, the relevant ministers will be held um, um, uh, accountable. How complete are you then with your budget? You have uh, about a month or so to go now, the midterm budget uh, policy statement. How far are you with regards to completion? It's never complete until the day. <laughs> okay, and just a very final question with regards to growth. We saw the Reserve Bank yesterday um, cutting its growth outlook for 2017. Still a bit optimistic for next year and the year after, sorry, 2018. Do you see yourselves perhaps re-looking at that figure as well in the MTBPS and maybe headed lower as well? Well, we um, always uh, realistically revise the numbers and it's, it's part of um, the, the work that we are doing uh, to see uh, where the numbers would stand. Yeah, so headed lower at all? Well, uh, the non-disclosure that I signed at the beginning <laughs> stands. Uh, mid, uh, wait for a medium-term budget policy statement. Moving.